Hey everyone, so we're working on this cool online card game that you can play on your computer or phone, all thanks to 3JS, an open source library. If you're into this kind of game, definitely subscribe to our channel. We've been asking ourselves, is it possible to make an investment-themed game that's actually fun? You know, for people who love gaming, not just those dry educational types. That's what we as gamers thought about, and we believe that with the right mechanics, we can make even the dullest themes exciting. I mean, let's be real, farming and hard labor under the sun isn't as fun as gaming in the Stardew Valley, right? Investing at its core is about buying stocks, betting that your choices will outperform in future scenarios. If the scenario changes, you ditch those stocks and find others that fit better. This whole dynamic of collecting, buying, and selling inspired our card game moving away from the typical attack and defense attributes. Our cards are named after the economic sector or activity of the companies. We've played tons of Magic, Marvel, Snap, Hearthstone, and these games definitely inspired our game Capital Clash. But of course, we've added our own unique mechanics to stay true to the theme and bring something new to the table. Instead of having a resource that increases each turn for playing cards, we use money generated by the cards themselves, kind of like managing an actual investment portfolio. Each turn will feature a different economic cycle affecting the cards just like the arena effects in Marvel Snap. The properties of different company sectors allow for various playstyles and the creation of specialized decks, like in Magic, but with our own twist. The cards will represent corporate investments and big company mergers. We found that the backstory and world building of card games often take a backseat. Our brains nearly exploded trying to justify these investment portfolio duels. So, we created a virtual city named Ven, where volunteers simulate different economies to save humanity in a dystopian future. When not in a match, players can explore the city at their own pace. So how did we start? With lines of code, of course. We created a JSON with all the card information and coded the different card properties. And no, we're not going to bore you with lines of code. We want to keep you awake. We'll just give you an overview. Starting with this image of the board and unstyled cards, pretty ugly, right? But it gets prettier, though not perfect, and it helps us program the click event for selecting each element individually, like playing or discarding a card. While our programmers were breaking keyboards and downing coffee, our artists, fearing replacement by AI, were busy designing the cards. We debated what a card needs and tried to create a beautiful design. After some time, here's what we came up with. A card with its value, sector icon, company name, property icons, rarity, and a company image. We'll talk more about this 3D model in the next part of our vlog. It'll all make more sense then. Remember, everything here is open to feedback, so if you don't like something, drop a comment. We're aiming to release these vlogs every week and a half or two. We've got a game to develop, so it might take a bit longer sometimes. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit that like button. Follow our journey. And like I said at the start, the beta is coming soon. Depending on when you're watching this, it might already be live, so come help us out. That's it for now. See ya!